Welcome back, Legendary Potato here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make custom end gateways into your Minecraft console edition worlds. So what I have here is a little template set up, so what I want to do is I want to place an end gateway right here on top of this uh, sea lantern. And so what it will do is I want it to make it so that it will teleport me back over to here. So pretty much what I'm going to do is set it up and put it there for you. So anyways, let's get right into it. First thing we're going to do is load up our world onto the mod program. Now that we're on the program, we're going to find our save and load it up like normal. Going to go to our player and our inventory. Then what we're going to do is we're going to place a custom spawner in there. So what I'm going to do is leave a copy code in the description. And what you're going to do is copy that and then paste it into your inventory like so. So now we have a spawner in our inventory. So pretty much all we need to do now is save our world and load it back onto the Xbox. Now that we're back onto our world, we can now place down the end gateways where we'd like. So what I'm going to do is place my end gateway spawner right down on top of this and break it after it spawns. As you can see, it is now placed down and now we can pretty much use it. Uh, but the only thing is, is that it currently doesn't have any tags. So what we need to go and do is put it back onto the mod tool and then we're going to edit them so that it will teleport us back over to here which we're going to make the coordinates as such. So we'll get a map out and we'll write these down so that we know where we're going to teleport. So in my case, it's going to be zero, Y58, and zero. Once you have yours all settled, you can go ahead and exit, save, and load it back onto the program. Now we're going to load up our world again like normal. Then we're going to locate the chunk that we just placed our spawner in, which in my case, it's going to be where my player is. So now we have our end gateway and it has a couple of tags, however it doesn't have everything that it needs. So as you can see it has all the coordinates and everything that we would usually need, however we need to add a few things as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to insert a compound tag. We're going to name that exit portal. We're also going to add a byte tag. We're going to name this exact teleport. And then we'll set this to one. Inside the exit portal we're going to add three int tags named X, Y, and Z. Now these are going to be where this teleports you. So in my case, I wanted to set mine to be Y58 and then zero and zero. You can do yours however you'd like. And then if you have more end gateways, you can go ahead and just copy these two tags and paste them in as such. Once you're happy with everything, then you can go ahead, exit, save, load it back onto the world. Now that we're back on our world, we can go ahead and test the end gateway. As you can see, it completely works. It teleports us back to where we would expect it, as well as doing an exact teleport as well. Hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Hopefully it was somewhat helpful to you, and you were able to put end gateways onto your own custom worlds. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you check out the program if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So have a good one, guys. I'll see you guys next time.